What was your name? Marie. Marie. That is a lovely accent. Where are you from? Oh, you know, around. Around. Jean and Thistle aren't sitting on the same side of the table anymore. Everyone's mood is dour, and York decides to pivot into my favorite personal hobby as a player, which is forcing your DM to come up with backstories and names for NPCs on the fly. God bless Viola for trying to save DM from this. Wisdom. I choose to fail! Have you been writing about us? You know, it doesn't work out in your favor, but I can appreciate the effort. <laughs> But Thistle is a direct enabler of this behavior as she lets others constantly erode her boundaries with no consequences. Episode 6 went through the most changes of any of our episodes. Originally, we had the episode end with Viola's notes reveal, but we realized we needed to move that to the top of the episode to give us time to sit in the consequences and fallout of her actions and for everyone's decisions to enact their own zones of truth. Almost everyone feels violated by her shadiness, and rightly so. I mean, Viola put all of her eggs in the basket of academia and sacrificed basically any meaningful connections she had made with the players at the table and in their other related activities that they had been doing. At the end of the day, this is a sitcom about this group of friends who play D&D together, not about Dungeons and Dragons itself. And uh, this is sort of the reality of what this group of friends is going through and what they have to decide to do next. This is a date. I like you. Why? The thing that comes between DM and ecstasy in this series isn't the fact that DM has to come to terms with the fact that she likes a girl. It's the fact that DM has a lot of insecurities that she has to deal with. DM doesn't think she's good enough. She's basically shutting down anything that would make another player leave her table because she's already been through that. And this game is the most important thing in the world to her, undoubtedly. And she's cutting herself off from any pain of the unknown, even though this person is sitting right in front of her, grabbing her by the shoulders and being like, I want to be with you and here are the reasons why. Sometimes you need someone to tell you that you're good enough, that that's part of what makes them good for each other. Why aren't you mad at me? Oh, I mean, I get it. I would want to study me too. There's a really sweet symmetry to York, who initially resisted letting Viola into the party, being the first one to forgive her and the most understanding of her mistakes. The best actors I know are very empathetic and sympathetic to other people's motivations. Uh, they have to be, to embody all sorts of characters from different walks of life. Now that she's proven herself to be like a great D&D player and someone who's contributed a lot to the story and someone that he actually likes, uh, they've developed this like friendship with each other that I think that we see come off in this I was a huge dork in high school, and then you came along. I wanted to have my cake and eat it too. Out of all the characters in this game, I definitely relate the most to Jean. And this isn't a one-to-one -one analogy, but in video games, I take forever to progress because I notoriously am a resource hoarder. I'm afraid of even expending the tiniest amount of resources for fear that I'm going to blow the whole strategy, I'll lose everything, I'll lose the game. And I've found that some people can kind of carry that philosophy from video games into life. A lot of those times, those people are nerds who have grown up um, because people are finally latching on to them or latching on to any success they may have. And now they're afraid of doing something wrong, making a misstep and losing those things that they've earned now. Jean understood his mistakes and they wanted to show Thistle setting a boundary. But that's what I need from you right now. Just be my friend. You know what that is? growth. He values her friendship just as much, if not more, than he values the potential for a romantic relationship between the two of them. I can never come back here. <laughs> okay, as always, jury rules. Raise your hand if Viola's out. Holy shit. What in the world could possibly have upended this boat? Some motherfucking shenanigans.